Close Amazon has a new version of Alexa for hotels. Elizabeth Keating has more. Buzz 60 voice assistants are gaining ground across mobile devices and PCs. Voice assistants such as Apple's NASDAQ AAPL, Siri, Alphabet's NASDAQ Goog, NASDAQ Google, Google Assistant and Amazon's NASDAQ AMZN, Alexa have integrated themselves into our digital lives. Almost half of American adults used voice assistants last year, according to Pew Research. Earlier this year, PwC reported that U.S. Internet users who spoke to their devices interacted with smartphones most frequently. However, users are also talking to their tablets, PCs and smart speakers. PwC's survey didn't break down those devices by individual operating systems. However, VoiceBot.ai recently found that Siri controlled 45.6% of the voice assistant market, although iOS and Mac OS devices account for much smaller slices of the mobile and desktop markets, respectively, than Android and Windows. Google Assistant claimed 28.7% of that market, and Amazon's Alexa ranked third with a 13.2% share. Looking ahead, the smart speaker market could grow at a whopping CAGR of 34.4% between 2018 and 2023, according to Research and Markets. That would make the market, which Amazon dominates with its Echo speakers and Alexa devices, the next big battleground for voice assistants beyond mobile devices and PCs. More New study indicates video games aren't just for boys anymore, a foolish tack -a -more. Survey shows most Americans uncomfortable with companies selling their data, a foolish tack -a -more. Pension cuts getting steeper for state and local governments, a foolish take. John Mackey, CEO of Whole Foods Market, an Amazon subsidiary, is a member of the Motley Fool's board of directors. Suzanne Frey, an executive at Alphabet, it is a member of the Motley Fool's board of directors. Leo Sun owns shares of Amazon and Apple. The Motley Fool owns shares of and recommends Alphabet, A shares, Alphabet, C shares, Amazon, and Apple. The Motley Fool has the following options, long January 2020 $150 calls on Apple and short January 2020 $155 calls on Apple. The Motley Fool has a disclosure policy. The Motley Fool is a USA Today content partner offering financial news, analysis and commentary designed to help people take control of their financial lives. Its content is produced independently of USA Today, offer from the Motley Fool, offer from the Motley Fool, the 10 best stocks to buy now Motley Fool co-founders Tom and David Gardner have spent more than a decade beating the market. In fact, the newsletter they run, Motley Fool Stock Advisor, has tripled the S. Click here to get access to the full list, asterisk stock advisor returns as of June 4, 2018, read or share this story, https colon slash slash usat.ly slash 2 cake vo.